And only on the Now KC, we teamed up with Facebook to get a look at the most talked about candidates on that social media network ahead of today's primary. And here to break down the numbers for us is Brian Abel. This really gives us some great insight. It does. And Facebook gave this to just us here in mm -hmm. Kansas City. Take a look. This is how many people are talking about each candidate. See, Donald Trump, 788,000. Hillary Clinton, 400,000. Bernie Sanders, 317,000. And this is also showing how many times that people on Facebook are talking about the candidates here in Missouri. 2.5 million for Hillary Clinton. You see Donald Trump, 6.5. Six million. That's how many comments, shares, likes, thumbs up, anything you can think of on Facebook. But at the end of it all, does it really make a difference? With such a heated election cycle, you usually don't have to scroll far to find a political post on your newsfeed. I feel like I see almost every day uh, everyone commenting on, on different candidates, especially during the primaries here. As KC votes this Ides of March Tuesday, we're getting an idea of just how political rhetoric is out there on Facebook. We Tell have a lot that. of political yeah. conversations on social media. In Missouri, about 6.6 .6 million for Trump, with 788,000 joining in that conversation. The next in line, Hillary Clinton, 400,000 people talking about her with 2.5 million likes, posts, comments, or shares. To find out if any of it makes a difference, we headed to political radio host Steve Kraske for the answer. Oh, I think it matters and matters a lot. Kraske says what's happening on Facebook are exactly the kinds of conversations that influence voters. The most important motivating factor to sway one person or another to a candidate is interactions with friends and neighbors. Today, I think a lot of that's happening on social media. We headed to the polls today to find out if all the online political back and forth is just too much saturation. Have you thought about defending somebody on Facebook? Facebook? Already have. <laughs> Already have. Um, it's crossed my mind, but it occurred to me it's probably good to be exposed to all ideas. My policy is not to defriend or unfollow anyone because of their political leanings. When asked the golden question, does any of the Facebook political noise impact their votes? I won't say that it made a huge difference. Um, probably confirmed my choice of candidate. Oh, no, not at all. I mean, it's just, it, it's been mostly negative and rants and everything. And it exposed me to candidates and ideas that I might not have uh, thought about on my own. So it, it had some influence. A little bit of let's, let's get to November so we could all be friends again. Is that it? Yeah. Maybe Inauguration Day. <laughs> and Facebook is also giving us a glimpse into the most important topics to Missourians. Here they are, the top five. Number one, religion. Justin? All right, religion, number one. All right, thank you, Brian.